Hello class, this is chapter 1.4, video 3, Growth and Decay. For this video, I want to talk about a rather important differential equation. This has many, many applications in science, in the real world, in using differential equations to make predictions. Uh, this is called the, I believe, the growth equation. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's of this form. And I'm using t instead of x here because t is usually going to be a unit of time and k is some constant. And this serves as a way to model growth and decay primarily. So let's just call it the growth decay equation. Why not? Now this is going to be an important equation when you're trying to translate a word problem that has to deal with growth and decay into an equation that you can solve. Let's go through a few examples. Let PT be a population of bacteria every second alpha pt new bacteria are born where alpha is some constant so alpha could be say 10% so that every second uh, the bacteria grows by 10, number of bacteria grows by 10%. And every second, beta PT bacteria die. Right, so every second uh, you have alpha, you can think of alpha as a percentage, right? That alpha, a portion of the bacteria are born and some portion of them die. So the population oops. So the population PT changes by alpha minus beta PT every second. Uh, this pen takes some getting used to. Now we want to model PT, this, this behavior, the behavior of the population PT, in terms of a differential equation. So what's the way we do that? Now we know the rate where the population of the bacteria changes, so that's dp over dt, right? So this is the rate of change of the population with respect to time. And this changes by alpha minus beta p. And this is, in fact, the differential equation that the population function will solve. And if you have appropriate initial conditions, you can use this differential equation to write down, predict the population of bacteria in a given time. So that's one application of this growth decay equation. Let's go to another example. And this example has to do with radioactive decay. So say each second, five percent of the atoms in and let's say unobtainium isotope that should be capitalized isn't it 
Now, I'm not sure whether it was capitalized. I'm, I'm sure it has to be capitalized in, um, well, it's a fictional element anyway. So 5% of the atoms in an unobtainium isotope decay. So we write down a differential equation for NP, which is the number of atoms at time t. Okay, so Again, this is very similar to the previous problem. You can think of the atoms as bacteria, except that, of course, no new atoms are created. So in our old equation here, our alpha is 0, and our beta is 5%. So we can write this down. We can, just, we can really just copy the old equation and write down dn dt the rate of change of the number of atoms is just going to be 5%, which is 5 over 100, times the number of atoms. And remember that we are losing atoms every second. So a good sanity check is that if your population is increasing, this constant here should be positive, but if your population is decreasing, this constant here should be negative. And since our atoms are decaying, the number of atoms are decreasing, and we should remember to put a negative sign over here. So these are some examples of uh, how you translate word problems into differential equations using this growth decay equation. And I'm going to give you one more example in a next video.